you ever wanted to have your website visitors submit events to your calendar? Well, we've got just the plugin for you. I'm Jamie at the Events Calendar, and I'm here to take you through our community events plugin so that you can add front end submission functionality right to your WordPress site. For example, a local gardening company can have users share gardening related events happening in the city. Or houses of worship with multiple sites can have a calendar that shows what's happening at different branches. You can even use community events on musicians' websites and allow bands to post their gigs. Take things one step further with our Community Manager Bundle. By bundling, you not only save money on our plugins, but you'll gain access to additional features with Community Tickets, Event Tickets Plus, and Filter Bar. But before I get ahead of myself, let's take a look at how Community Events works to add user-submitted events directly to your WordPress site. So let's start off by taking a look at the settings that you have with community events. To find them, you go to events, settings, and look for the community tab. Here you'll see the general settings, which allow anonymous submissions. So you can check this box if you'd like users to be able to submit events without a WordPress account. This option uh, will not allow users to create new venues, so they can only choose from existing venues. This option will not allow users to create new organizers. This option allows uh, users to use the visual editor for event descriptions. This one is the default status for submitted events. So you can choose whether users submit events as a draft, pending review, or if they just get published right away. And you also have some spam prevention options uh, that you can follow over here. Next, you'll see the terms of submission. So if you want to put in a terms of submission, you can enable that and um, you can write in your terms of submission right here. Below that are your community URLs. So that'll be uh, where you find all of your community event links. So you'll see here your add event link, your list events link, your community base link, and you can edit these by checking this box. And then you'll see the alerts. So if someone submits a new event, you can have the, an email sent to the admin or to the organizer. Below that are the member controls. So you can choose whether users can edit their submissions, remove their submissions, and where deleted events go, whether that's in the trash or if they're permanently deleted. Then you'll see um, the My Events, which there's a My Events page for users who submit events, and you can choose how many events are displayed on that page. And then there's the Access Controls, so that you can choose the roles that users uh, have over here, and you can choose whether you want to block access to the WordPress dashboard for certain users. And then there's some form defaults. So there's a default venue if you'd like, you can add a default organizer, and then you can enable single geography mode, which uh, removes some of the location options like country, state, province, and time zone from the submission form. And when you're done selecting your options, you can select uh, save changes. So let's take a look at what the community event submission form actually looks like. To find your form, you would go to events and then community submit event. You can also find this by going to that URL that was either uh, set for you or that you set for yourself in the settings. So here you'll see the form where you can add new events. Also, if you've previously submitted events, you can also view, view your events right here. And you'll add an event title so we'll call this my event and you'll see that this is a required field as is event description so you can add in your event description your event date and time you can select and then if you have events calendar pro you'll also see additional options uh, for scheduling multiple events so let's say our event is taking place tomorrow and you can also select um, an all day event or you can, and you can change the time zone as well. Those are the required fields. And then you can add, if you prefer an event image, a category tag. If you have virtual events, you'll also see this box to uh, configure this as a virtual event. And then you can also add an event status and any venue details. So you, you'll be able to select from your pre-existing venues or create a new one. Same goes with organizer. You can add an event website, an event cost. 
If you have community tickets as well, which is included with our community manager bundle, you'll also see other options like adding tickets from the front end. So you submit your event and then you can view your submitted event. So there's your event and it's in published status of draft, which is what we selected by default. So that in that case, the admin can take a look at the event or maybe make some changes and they can publish the event. And you'll find your events uh, under edit events and it should be in your draft folder. And here's my event and you can edit the event. And I'm viewing it in the block editor. So then this is what your event looks like. It's pretty basic, but you can add featured image and other things if you like, and then publish the event. Let's take a look at what it looks like. So here's our basic event. You can also find your events by going to my events drop down and we find it in the same place. You can add a new event right from there and it'll take you right back to the uh, submission form. And that's it. Now you can see how easy it is to add event submissions to the front end of your WordPress site with our community events plugin. And if you want to upgrade to our community manager bundle, you'll unlock features like advanced event filtering and the ability to let users add tickets to their submitted events. Check out the links in the description for more information about our plugins. Thanks for watching.